last time on Evan and Caitlin, we made Raindrop Damascus with Alex Steele. Today, we're gonna turn it into a blade for our 3D printed knife. Okay, so what's next? Now, we need to make sure that it's the right thickness. I'm so glad that you asked me this question, because I would have just started doing the wrong thing. I'm gonna cut off a piece that's a little bit large, then we're gonna surface grind it, get it down to the thickness we want. Check in the edge that the passion is still there. If it's not, <laughs> we cry. Yeah, we cry, and then we, we have to go back to about step 100 of the step thousand <laughs> process. So, we're about to take the piece we just cut off and etch it in the acid. We worried that we ground down the Damascus so much that the pattern would no longer show up. So, this was a very stressful moment. Ooh. It's going mm -hmm. off. Oh, it looks good. Looks really good. So, it's not as dense as it was earlier. We ground out some of the density, but it looks beautiful. Ooh, it's yeah. beautiful. It looks really good. Oh, yeah. All right, everything is going swimmingly. <laughs> no. It's going really well so far. Are we past the danger zones? Uh, no, there are plenty more to go. Ah, oh, dang it! <laughs> we have the steel down to the right thickness. We're just gonna trace the knife onto it, cut it out. Should be easy peasy, right? To get better scribe lines for cutting out our knife, we first painted it with blue dicum. <laughs> you know, I think it's a solvent. Some around this. Tricky bits. And now that that's scribed, we need to work out where the holes are going. They're called transfer punches, and I think I'm missing the ones that we need. <laughs> Great, we can do one. Give this side a whack here. I have the exact one that I was looking for. Look yes. at that! I bent it. It did the job it needed to do. So we had our outline scribed and our holes punched. So next up was drilling out the holes. We're gonna do a couple dabs of super glue to clamp our newly scribed and dicomed part. There we go. That breaks the super glue. The nice thing about this fixturing technique, thank you, NYCCNC is then neither of the parts have super glue residue. So, now we have the holes drilled. Next we need to make this look like a knife. Knife, knife. How are we gonna cut it out? We'll come like this way, you can go that way, and then that way. You just gotta be like, unbelievably careful. Uh. Do not go any closer. Okay. That was a little too close. That was a smidge close, but we're okay. is looking pretty good, rough grounding. How did you guys like that? Kind of scary, very fun. So, on our edge, we wanna make sure that we leave that proud, because when we sharpen it, we need enough material to sharpen back. Do it a little bit, test it, do a little bit, test exactly. it. Okay. From bastard to second cut to smooth. I'm only gonna do a push stroke. More accurate, more controlled. <laughs> So our engagement here, it's just a trapezoid that's slotting in mm -hmm. to those flats. Do we have this part disassembled? Yes. Yes, we do. Let's measure that and then just make sure that we stay within it. We 
can probably keep it up there and just keep holding it up to it. Make sure it's a nice fit. We want it to be very proud, obviously. I'm already pretty proud. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going? Still filing. Evan's about to attempt bringing in the risky part. That has to be a really good fit. Right here. You have slightly more confidence in yourself than either of us have in you. So. <laughs> oh, I do the bottom. Do the bottom? Oh yeah. gosh. The, right, this way? Parallel, but more like this. Oh my goodness, it's time for it! Thank you! Yeah. Test fit time? Perfect. That's tight enough that we will be able to gently bring it in with some sandpaper later. Can you show me the file? Is that, or the, the, the blade? Oh. Sorry, not the file. <laughs> there she is. Ooh, you did a nice job. So we have the rough shape of the blade defined. Before we harden it though, we're gonna go ahead and add the primary bevel and then we're gonna air harden it? Oil harden it. Oil harden it. We are normalizing it because we drilled holes, ground it, doing so much to it, especially after the forging process, which is very aggressive itself. A lot of stresses in the material. We want to equalize those stresses, and that is the normalizing process. It also achieves a refinement of the grain structure of the material so that when we harden this, we end up as strong as possible. The smaller the grain structure, the stronger it can be. There is a point of diminishing returns where the grain structure is so small that it can't harden, but we want to get right to the precipice before we lose that. That uh, hardenability. Hardenability. That's hardenability. <laughs> Sounded great until then. Like a pro. <laughs> Boom! You were on a run. Check that out. You can see the pattern there. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay, the next step, quenching it, there was a lot of pressure. I knew I had to go in straight, not wobble, not hit the sides. Go, 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 go. So I donned my chins of concentration and did my best. What I didn't explain very well was just how fast this was gonna cool down. So I explained that we wanna go in straight, but I didn't at all stress that we wanted to be very fast. So we worried. We don't know. We don't know. We don't know if it's got hard. I was not super fast. The file is hard. If the file cuts, this is not hard. If the file skates, this is. He just told us this is going in the oven. A little baking to do. 
little, uh, little paprika, a little chili powder too. You've got to make sure that you work it in. Yeah. Otherwise, flavor is no good. We've got the oven set at 195, and uh, that'll that'll just bake for about an hour and a half. Making dinner and. Whoa. Whoa. How can you tell? You can't really. <laughs> <laughs> It looks really yeah. cool, actually. You can see the Damascus. Everybody get your fingers in. <laughs> Just <laughs> look at our knife. <laughs> That's so beautiful. Yes. So it's day three. We just finished. Oh, I should grab the blade. Day three. Did the bevel. Normalize the blade. You're doing it in completely wrong order. <laughs> no, that's good order. Yeah, that's oh, right. I'm forgetting what, what have we done Wait, so far? Easy. <laughs> we have done the bevels, normalized it three times, hardened it, tempered it. Now yes. we need to do the rest of the finishing. Then we're going to work on our final fit up. Cool. It's exciting. Pressure's on. We can't mess up at this point. No, <laughs> no we literally we cannot. cannot. We cannot. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just ground this evenly. There's still a flap right there where there's a scribe line. Just so tiny that I can't even focus. Wow. We got this bad boy ground up. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna need to sand our flats. Once they're flat, we can then work on the fit up. What we need is something to help lubricate the cut. <laughs> I'm gonna start working at an angle like this. This seems can... so satisfying. Yeah, 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 it's really satisfying. <laughs> I love hand sanding. I don't know why I have my safety glasses on. For safety. Watch out, the knife! In the ah! Oh my gosh, look at it. This one's shiny knife. So what is the plan? We are going in for our very first test fit. So right here we're test fitting if the screw fits, but there's a whole lot of pieces and parts that we need to file and sand and get super precise so that everything fits together. Love, can oh. you uh, hold it up real close to me real quick? Oh, you took it out already. Uh, I'm sorry. We'll put it you back. can see the test fit on Alex's channel. Woo! Woo! Filing, filing, filing. Keep that file filing. You're good so with my good words. at ramming. <laughs> oh yeah, good thinking. So I could think, oh, we need to remove a decent amount. Worth it to play it safe at this point. I think it's perfect. <gasps> ah! And I am so glad that I test fitted before I kept on sanding. Were you about to oh. keep filing? I was about to keep on filing and it would have been bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. All right, time, time to do the little gap. Stuff. Scary stuff. Before we do that, should we sand? Yes. All right. You want to tell the people what we're doing next? We are going to sand these scales that we made because they scratched this beautiful blade that I just filed for so long. Those jerks! Ah! <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. I think that looks smooth enough to try again. <laughs> Come on, fingers. Ah. Oh, it's good. Ooh. It clicks nicely. We now just need to file that opening. But one extra file stroke than we need, we can completely destroy the whole time. I think it's time to put on our serious pants. Serious pants. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I'm my, my silly pants. <laughs> oh, <laughs> please, different please kind of video. Serious pants. That's a bastard cut file. Definitely no. not using that. Here we go. One and a half. Right, let's put it together. Wait for it, wait for it, and we need to do more nope. filing. Oh, it's so stressful every time. <laughs> right. Oh, a little better, a little better. I 
lost the screw. Nope. <laughs> Moment of truth. Do we have the fit up? Gosh, I'm so nervous. <gasps> Awesome. Oh, that's a snap. The freely swing out too. Yep, 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 yep. Oh! Woo! And I got plenty of shots of the knife, but you guys are cute. <laughs> we need to mask all the critical areas. Oh, Special fine. blacksmith nail polish. Woo! While the blade sits in the acid, we are going to make our own little thumb things. Technical term. <laughs> These guys. So we're gonna try out the lathe. Let's see how Ooh, this goes. More tools. Yeah. <laughs> Right, and then we can rinse it off. You can almost see it, it's almost there. Okay, so we're gonna take the 2000 grit and we need to exactly follow the scratch patterns that we made already. Okay. I'm gonna do the bevels. Whoa! Oh my look gosh. At that already. Oh my gosh. Doesn't take much at all and it's very easy to overdo. <gasps> oh my gosh! Yeah! Oh. Oh. It's like magic. <gasps> Dude! This looks so cool. This is amazing. This is so cool. Ah! Oh, you can see all the layers. <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> Way too close. I zoomed too much. All right, so we have all of the components for the knife. We have the blade, we have the body, and we have a little bell thingy. <laughs> so now it's time for final assembly before we grind the secondary bevel. And then, and is that it? That's it. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> excited at the end. There we go. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. You got a nice little nice little patch for yourself now.
off. We've learned so much. I know you're a handshake. And I I'm gonna oh. Definitely go check out Alex's channel. He's been posting videos every single day that we've been here. Alex, tell us about your channel. I'm a blacksmith. I make YouTube videos almost every single day in the shop, so make sure you go check it out. There are loads of sparks, loads of fire, loads of fun, loads of learning. So yeah. fun. Can confirm. Yes. It's awesome. So definitely go subscribe to him. Subscribe to us if you haven't already. And again, just check out our Patreon at patreon.com slash Evan and Caitlin if you want to see the rough cut and after show. Bye! 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 Bye. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Evan's got a hiccup. <laughs> it sucks so bad. I'm so sorry. Work it! Yeah! Ah! Working away. I mean, someone's on their phone. But Woo! Don't you Blacks love it when your hand head just slowly is falling? <laughs> Expert craftsman at work. Work is natural habitat. Oh, it's shh.